hi viewers welcome to my channel in this video i want to quickly show everyone on how to create a profile using global mapper so this is my data this is my topo data it is actually for a route so i want to use this data collected on site to produce a profile longitudinal profile of my route okay so this is how you are to tabulate your data so you can see the x y and h okay the eastings nothings and the heights all right so your data is expected to be saved as dot csv so when your data is well tabulated all you have to do is to come to global mapper so your global mapper is going to load up so when you open your global mapper, the first thing to do is to import the Excel data into your global mapper. So this video also covers importing Excel.csv into the global mapper. So to import your data, you go to files, then you go to open data files. Then you can navigate to where your CSV data is. So in the course of this video, it is named as routes right then click on open so here you make sure the point only is checked then the auto detect is checked as well so at your feet to skip at start of line you put one this actually simply means that your data that is arranged on Excel the first field there is the ID so it is expected to skip that particular field in order to start reading the x y and the h so here the coordinate order is expected to be the way you tabulated your data on excel so i'm just going to click and you are going to see the options there so the first option is your x distance longitude coordinates so if your data is actually tabulated coming x first you are expected to check the x all right or if your data starts from y which is in nothings you are expected to check and click on the y or in the course of this video the coordinate is tabulated from the x so i'm going to check the x all right so that is all you have to do here then you click on ok then here you click on ok so you are going to have the advantage to define the projection system you want to work with so the data is collected on utm all right then the zone is on 31 so if yours is collected on other pro projection system you have to check you have to click on the drop down shadow arrow then navigate to the projection system you are working with so in the course of this video is on utm and zone 31 it's already defined so if you are working on another zone which is under UTM, you click on the zone here, you are going to see the different zones. All right, so you have to check the zone of interest. So the data is also MENA Nigeria. Then, when you are done cross checking all the values and parameters, all right, you are expected to click on OK. So, this is my data, and it is actually for route survey. So, the data is already imported then the next thing to so you have to create an elevation grid before you can create a profile using global mapper so i'm going to create the elevation grid using my collected spot height on site so you are going to click on the create elevation grid then you don't need to do anything much just make sure that the automatically determine optimal grid spacing is checked then here make sure it's on one then you click on ok so as you can see the elevation grid is already created then the next thing i am going to do all right is to create the profile by navigating to path profile so this is the path profile this is the tool you are going to navigate to in order to be able to generate your profile then you click on that then you click on ok all right so a tool is going to be activated so a tool is going to be activated then what you are expected to do is to choose the center line so according to the data here so let me uncheck my grid according to the data here you are going to be seeing the cl the center line of the road so that is actually 
my data of interest y order is the drainage spot height all right so my data of interest i want to see the elevation of the center line of the road so it is actually obtained at 50 meters intervals then the next thing i'm going to do is to choose the center line of the road in case you do not actually obtain your data of the center line and you actually randomly picked your spot height of your area of interest so all you have to do is to approximately choose your center line all right of interest so this is actually the road as you can see in between is actually high so you can approximately choose the center line using the elevation grid to to generate the profile or in the course of this video i want to use the center line that i actually picked on site so to do that all i have to do is to use the elevation grid tool and choose the center line the way it is on the screen all right so i'm just going to choose it accordingly so that is just how you keep doing it to so choose the very last center line of your interest and that is just it so when you're done choosing the center line you have to right click on your mouse so as you can see the profile is generated just using global mapper please if you have watched this video to this extent please do want well to hit on the subscribe icon as well as share to others to support and encourage us thank you so the profile is already generated just as we have actually displayed on the thumbnail right so when your profile is generated you can actually see how it is undulating via what we have actually picked on site so next thing i'll be showing you is to do your cut and fill analysis so to do your cut and fill analysis in order to design the profile accurately all you have to do is to come to the calculate cut and fill volumes you click on it all right so when you click on it you are going to see an option here use the same base height value for all vertices you are going to check that so when you check that the meaning or the essence of checking it is for you to be able to edit the base height that is supposed to be your benchmark for the cut and fill volume to be calculated accurately so the default is going to be 10 in most cases so it is your duty to edit the base height to the right benchmark value all right so this option is going to be checked in order for you to be able to edit that so based on my benchmark that i used in picking my data on site the benchmark is 5.733 you are expected to edit the benchmark value in order to obtain accurate cut and fill volume calculations so when you edit your base height value all right you click on above ground so you can see here there is above ground you check that then you click on ok so it has actually been calculated you click on ok so here you are going to name and modify the layer so i'm just going to call this cut and fill then click on ok all right so it's going to appear on my layer work environment here you can see here it has actually designed the profile for us based on the information we have actually gathered and the analysis we've done all right so if you see what is happening here you find out that the more i keep scrolling my data around the profile it is going to be showing it on the elevation grid down so you can also be using this particular region so you can see that this region is shallow all right just as it is displaying on the elevation grid so this region is shallow that shows that this place is shallow so this region is high so if i'm to turn off 
you see that there is a red color that shows that this place is high so this region is just that particular region so you can see that it is actually denoting the asteric symbol there so this is the highest part of the route so this is actually coming down and just like that so if you see this region it is a very low region so i'm just going to pan up for you to be able to see that accurately so you can see this region is a very shallow region so so that is just how to create a profile using global map so you can decide to export on different layer of your choice so you can check all in order to export all so there are different formats you can export if you want on autocad dwg format or whatsoever all right thank you for watching we hope to see you next time